everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna be here with you for the next hour. Uh, this is a kitchen innovation show. So we got lots of great items for you in the show. You know, as we're coming through the beginning of the year, uh, you know, you, before you know it, spring will be here, entertaining season, summer, all that stuff. We got lots of great ideas that give you a head start on that and lots of really great values in our show. Um, uh, one of these shows would not be the same. We didn't have some sort of an origami item in the, in the show, as you know. Origami, probably across the board, I would say, one of the highest rated in the, in the groups of products that we have are the origami products. Everybody loves them. And for a variety of reasons. Well, first of all, it's the quality and how they're made. Uh, first of all, um, as I said, uh, you know, you're talking about steel, you're talking about real uh, wood products here, you're talking about things that you don't have to put together. They come 99% assembled. L literally, you put the wheels on, that's all you need to do. Uh, and you slide the drawers in, in this case, because this is the uh, four drawer kitchen cart. This is a huge customer pick on hsn.com. Uh, the last time I checked, it was something like 500 out of 600 perfect five star reviews. That's a lot of people to say a product product is perfect. What makes it even a little more advantageous for you to pick it up today is it's $20 off and it's free shipping. We don't normally do the discount and the shipping as well. And instead of four flex, it's on five flex for $21.99. And we have the colors and uh, the lovely Tracy Rosa just told me that red yeah. is what? Number one accent color in the kitchen. And we have it available, which we don't right. always have. So it comes in red, right. it comes in bronze, it comes mm -hmm. in turquoise, which is a wonderful fancy color. And even if you don't have any turquoise in your kitchen, add a pop of color, it's well, kind of cool. And that's gonna give you that pop that yeah. we all love. And then this is kind of the original, which is just sort of that silver gray color. But as I said, yeah. Tracy, I mean, these things, first of all, when you put it in, it fills a whole bunch of different holes in the kitchen. Exactly. So if you need like a chopping block or a cutting board, if you need extra storage, if you don't have a pantry, it's all those things. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And listen, we're calling it the kitchen cart, but I really want you to think outside the box and really think of, you can use this in any single room in your house. This is the biggest drawer storage system that we have in the origami family. It's sturdy, it's steel and wood, and here's the deal. It comes uh, fully assembled. Yeah, so let's talk about that for a second. It comes like this. Yeah, imagine packed. this Imagine this yeah. with a box around it. Mm -hmm. That's, That's it. it. And then each one of these drawers nests. So it's literally like you're getting one drawer yeah. and then this base. You open it up. That's it. Th this is already attached right here. The top is already attached. Right. You pull it over. All right, that's it. You've got two little pegs here. You've got one in the front and one in the back. You literally, see that? You line them up, uh -huh. and now this entire base is sturdy Locked. and intact. Yep. Here's the other thing. Each one of these drawers is the same size. So you don't have, there's no guessing, you know? You don't have to worry about which uh, drawer goes where. They slide in and out nice and easy. Here's the other thing. We get so many reviews on our tracks right there. That track yeah, right there. Yeah, they love because that. Because there are no wheels, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. if you've ever gotten your drawer oh, yeah. open, you can't yeah. open or well, close it. Well, because the wheelie things are attached inside exactly. the drawer, and if the little fasteners come apart, yeah. then the wheelies come <laughs> off, and the track doesn't work. This is metal on metal track. So basically, you have a hole and a metal track that slides in. There's no wheels, there's no springs, there's no cables, there's no wires. So it fits every single time. And that's a really good point you bring up, because that happens probably, I, I would say right. it's probably to 99% of the people that have dresser drawers have mm -hmm. a problem with one of the drawers over time. Of course, right? of course. And here's the deal. The thing about this that separates it from everything else out there is really the capacity when it comes to these drawers. Look at how big, they're six inches deep, they're strong, they're steel, okay? That's the cool thing, look at that. But check out that mesh there. You can see that it's really close together, so that means all the small items in there aren't gonna fall through. So if you're a crafter and you're using this for crafting, all of those sequins, all of those really small parts that we use for scrapbooking and stuff, this is not yeah. Going to give it a home. Plus, it holds 15 pounds worth of weight, so you can load these bad boys yeah. heavy and then still be able to you know, open it. I wish them. I had this around when Danny was like about five or six years old. He had more crud and more right. stuff, and, and he wouldn't get rid of it. Right. He had the little zippy cars, and he had all these these little components. Of, they were like little oh gosh. cartridges for games. The stuff was in every drawer. He still keeps a lot of it. He's yeah. oh, I may, I may need that. <laughs> What's that Leapster? I'm like, what? We play an Xbox. We got, we can do a Leapster now. So but he, but no. No, he does. And he's like, no, I got to keep that because it's going to be worth money someday. Right. So if you've got like junk drawers, what basically what we're trying to say, or, or if you want to put, you know, Tracy, you could put your hammer and nails and stuff yeah. in one, batteries in another drawer. It doesn't just have to be for pantry items, but here's what I'll tell you. You get this home, 
it goes to work instantly for you. There's no downtime like, honey, let me just put this together for me. Right. Now, you don't have to build anything. You literally take it out of the box like Tracy yeah. showed you. You attach uh, the top, which just flips over. There's no, it's not separate. The drawers, you'll get separately, and they're just stacked in another box or whatever, and then you just pull them out and you slide them in, and that is it. You are instantly using this. All right, so originally, I know the original quantity. I think we had, what do we have, Jared? About 6,000 of these, right? All right. Jared just said, guy, with the folks online, I, I maybe have 15 or 1,600. So if there's a color that you like now yes. out of the turquoise and the bronze and the silver, or America's favorite color, apparently red. <laughs> uh, I have a red coffee machine. So it this makes would be sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So again, all of it, is, you've got that powder coated steel and you've got the gorgeous wood tops with this as well. Again, beautiful grains of wood, solid. This is going to hold 40 pounds. Worth. Look at that, guy. What? Look at how gorgeous that is. It is. It's you know, cool. I mean, it's the two best you know ingredients what? that you're going to have, wood and steel. And what was I ta talking to you about before the show? If you need to move this yeah, anywhere, absolutely. you can take, you can move it's this sturdy. anywhere you need to move it. So let's say, for instance, like, okay, I'm going to do a salad bar. You can put a giant bowl of salad on there. You can put all your bowls underneath. You can mm -hmm. bring it over and you can be like the, the fancy guy at the thing and you can exactly. do a Caesar salad right in front of other people. Or if you see there, can, how far can you follow me? You know what? I'm just going to keep going. So you'll be like, no, stop. And I won't stop. No, I'll just, just keep, keep going. going. So let's say it's Thanksgiving. Exactly. I know that's a far away thing. But what if I got a big giant turkey in, in the oven? Look, you got stuff in the <laughs> oven, too. <laughs> Is that from you? No, but take it I out. I'm hungry. I thought I your thunder here. There's like, there's two butter, two acorn squash in there. Grab them. Let's not tell anybody they're there. Let's just take okay. them. So anyway, if it's your turkey, you take your turkey out, and then you can wheel it out to the table. You can carve right at the table. And who, you know, when you have Thanksgiving or holidays or parties, there's so little room on the table anyway. Like right. if you're doing a roast or anything. Right. It's so nice to keep that off to the side. Exactly. You know, and th then that becomes like your serving station, your buffet station, your centerpiece station, your cake station for birthday parties, shower hours, whatever. But listen, what about a portable coffee station? Look I mean, you. all of this stuff takes up so much room on our countertops and our cabinets. Then it's permanent in the kitchen. This now, if you own an office, if you are, this is at home and you That's are mobile a, yeah, on the lanai. Like for an office, bring yes. it in. You Look know, if you got that office and yeah, maybe you just have a little cubicle or something, you're like, I wish I had stuff to put my little coffee things or my lunch stuff. Uh -huh. My little, maybe my condiments, my, my various condiments. I could put those all inside there. Look at you, little Miss Moving Coffee I, Bar. I know, Call me a Susie Homemaker, why what? don't you? you? You are amazing. <laughs> hey, this but is it makes it so easy. Let me tell you, I bought a plastic version of this. Okay. When I moved to Florida, right. I didn't have a I didn't have a garage, so I, I I bought one of those shed things and I bought a plastic version of the, of this and it was terrible. First first of all, there was like 110 pieces in mm -hmm. I couldn't believe how many pieces. Right. And it was just plastic and plastic mm -hmm. and clamps. Right. But then when I put stuff on it, it did a little lean, a little lean to the left. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes you feel good. It's long gone now, but then it started actually getting mildew on it, because I guess plastic can get mildew on it so it was nasty these are powder coated steel they're never going to rust on you you can use them indoors or outdoors uh so if you want to use it as a barbecue cart because i know a lot of people do that or even as a, as a, a, a you know you could do your flowers on there you, yeah whatever it it's, wears so many different hats well i like that you talk about the plastic because really that's the comparable out there you know you yeah. see them in the stores they're yeah. that murky you can't even see what's in the drawers it's that like creamy like plastic covers listen they put those um they sell those for the bathroom have you ever put like a curling iron or maybe a hot um, hair tool or something in something that if it hasn't cooled down all the way, that's not what we should be having in our bathrooms. You can't put particle board in there and you can't put plastic because of heat, humidity, and hot items. So here you go. This is wood and steel. So if it's going to be, if it's hot, if it's steamy, yeah. if it, you know, it's not going to break down. And listen, I know that I have a ton of tools. I call them tools. Yeah. They're basically like magic wands, hopefully, to right. get this all ready in sure. the morning. You know, where does all that stuff go? It, I need a drawer system, you know, and this is perfect. You need the multiple layers. Of, is that what you really need? I need to stack them. No, em you do like not. <laughs> she's, an, she's an amazing. All right, so, but here's what I'll tell you. No matter what, I will tell you, there is not one of you out there, anybody out there, that cannot use this because whether you are a person that is going to use it as like a little portable pantry, uh, if you're going to use it for tools, if you're a guy or a gal and you've got a little workplace, out in the garage and you want to organize nails and nuts and bolts and things like that it's perfect and maybe you've got pets and you're like boy it'd be great to put my big bag of dog food right. in one i could put the little doggy treats in the other i could put the leashes and the bowls and i could do all this stuff because i don't want to mix it with my regular bowls if you want it as a food preparer if you want it as a little cheese and cracker tray you can use it as a wine rack 
I mean, I'll just keep going. Right. I could go on and on and on with this about the uses. Uh, here's what I what I love it about, and I've, I have the um, I have one similar to this. I have the one with the chopping block on top. Okay. Um, so and I use that's very similar to this. Only this has more storage underneath. Mm -hmm. So, you know, six and one half dozen the other, but. I love to bring like ribs out and I bring the barbecue sauce, I have all that stuff on a tray and I load it all in there and then I can wheel this right out. What does it weigh, Tracy? It doesn't weigh very much, right? It weighs... I'm not sure on the 28 weight. pounds. 28 pounds. 28 yeah. pounds. And it's on wheels. This weighs too. 35. The, this thing weighs 35 pounds. Of course. Pounds. And this is what we're talking about. The stuff that takes up all of that valuable real estate in yeah. our kitchen, on our countertops. Think of the big things that you have. The microwave, the pressure cookers, the mixers. All, all of that, that takes stuff. up a ton of space. And you got to leave them there because what's your other choice? Taking up yeah. cabinet space. I know. And then you'll never use it because out of sight, out of mind. You know, now this system is here on a yeah. rolling cart. So again, you can wheel this wherever you want in the kitchen. Yeah. Say you need the microwave by the stove at one point sure. or by, you know, it's simple. It, but it check could, out that capacity. It could be okay. You could have somebody who's sick and you want to put their food exactly. on there and you want to wheel it in. You want to set up a little station for somebody that's yeah. not feeling well for three days, put their medicines, things like that. Here's what I'll tell you. Jared, our producer said, listen, guy, we're going to put four minutes. We're going to put about four minutes left on the clock. Jared said, okay, we can, can we do five? Jared says we might be able to do five. We'll see whatever comes up. Look around my feet there. Oh, there, right near the apples. Right. There. So we have five minutes to go. I've got about 15, 1,600 of these. Jared just said the red is going to be the first one to go. So if you want that red, which is like you told me, it's the I biggest told, color one to go. I told color in the kitchen. So, I think that turquoise is a close second. It, look at how much you have in here. Th that, that's what I'm saying. This system is about capacity. So really think of that. You know, look at all of the apples that we can fit in here. If you're somebody who loves the farmer's market, this is that perfect solution. But listen, there's still room for this. So again, remember, when you put fruits and vegetables in an aerated system, it's going to stay fresher longer, which is a, a yeah. great tip as well. Sure. But here's the other thing. I'll be honest. Ours is not in the kitchen. Ours is in the closet. Okay. Because yeah. uh, my daughter, the 13-year-old, the wanted more room in her actual living space. Sure. You know, so we got big, rid of the old dresser. And we lined mm. two of these up. And now she has a... Let's do that real fast. Okay. Now you have a great dressing station. Yeah, look what you got I there. mean, I can't afford a customized yeah. closet with, you know, all those sure. fancy shelvings and all that. Yep. But now I have a complete dressing station. I've got... With these two together, we've got eight drawers. It's, it's almost it's almost big enough to be a little mini ironing board. Of course. I mean, you you literally can do yeah. whatever you want. Changing table, whatever it is that you need, you got the room to do that right on top of here. And if you put a couple together, it gives you even more right. room. Uh, bronze now has moved into number one as the most popular. We have about three minutes remaining. Uh, I, read the reviews on this, and I, I, I often tell people, take a look at what other people are saying. Do you realize out of uh, I think there's I think there's like six or seven hundred right. reviews. I, last time I checked it, last time I checked it was. Over, it was like 500 and something. 400 and something were perfect reviews, and the bulk of the rest were four-star, which is ridiculous, because there's nothing not to love about this. It really hits on all levels. So whether or not you want to use it as a coffee cart, if you want to use it as a place for your yes. appliances, I mean, look at how nicely the pots and pans are stowed in there, rather than just piecemeal all over your house where you can't. And you know, what do we say? If you can't find it... You don't use it. Thank you for but that. But look at this. I mean, this is what we're talking about. I mean, where do all these... Guy, I know that you keep a lot of your stuff in the oven, like your pots and pans, because yeah. you're not storage space. They get nasty in there. Exactly. Or you forget about it, yeah, you know, no. whatever. You preheat the oven, you gotta know you're like, oh my god, there's 18 pans in there. And you burn so, yourself. So many people do that I know. because we don't have enough storage space. Isn't it space. funny how we all have the same kind of dumb things we, that we do? <laughs> same problems. You know? Like, I, I mean, I worked in the restaurants for 18 years. I'll take a pan out of the oven and I'll still grab it with my hand. Right. Just because I need, that, I, need that, that, I need to feel that burn apparently right. every so often, right? <laughs> you should only do that one time. <laughs> I know, I know. But look at look at everything you got I in know. There. That, and listen, again, like I said, we're saying this is the kitchen cart, but think of this for your office. I mean, this is strong enough for a full-size printer, okay? Yeah. Or your laptops. But then everything that you need is at your fingertips. You know, you can put your um, charging cables in there so there's never a question when they are, where they are, batteries, uh, reams of paper, strong enough for all of that, big notebook paper. Each one of these drawers holds 15 pounds worth of weight and is six inches deep. So that's fantastic. Imagine being able to have an entire office on wheels so you can move it about wherever you feel like doing your work. So it's great for crafting, all of your big crafting, a sewing machine, crickets, yeah. all of that stuff. And then everything is right here at your fingertips. We are almost at 4,000 gone with just over a little over 1,000 left. If you want to get it, as we said, the red and the bronze are the right. most popular. Listen, if you need a storage solution and you're, and maybe, let's say maybe you're an old, you know, you're a senior, a little bit older, you don't want to have to put something together. I know my mom, my mom bought a couple of uh, end tables like a year ago. Right. And then she called me to bring them over. I'm like, there's no way in heck 
Anybody. I almost, no. almost said the bad word. Right. That's how angry I am. <laughs> She's like, man, I can't put these things together. It was ridiculous. I had a hard time putting it. It took me an hour and a half to put I, each one together. I... These, when you buy this, Tracy will show yeah. you again. So uh, here you go. Do your thing, this Tracy. Out of the box. Out of the box. Flat pack like this. And all of these nests. So if you want to break this down and it just stores, it's literally yeah. storing one drawer and this. But you open it up, okay? And you just flip the top on. No tools, no instructions. Not, you don't have to worry about any of that. No particle board. It's wood and it's steel. And look at how easy these slide into place just like that. Again, you've got that great handle right here. The beautiful mesh. So there's never a question of, hey, what's in that drawer? I mean, how many times have you loaded a junk drawer, so to speak, up so hard you can't even open the drawer or you have no idea what's in it you know yeah. great for batteries great great for everything sure. you know it gives everything a home and like we said getting organized doesn't have to be hard doesn't have to be ugly you just need the right tools you know and, and, and having gives you those having the wheels too with this makes it so versatile because first of all if you have it up against the wall you can clean behind it and you know a lot of times you may you may have a hundred pounds worth of stuff in there you don't want to have to take everything out all you do is you slide it off this is how it comes uh when you when you order it you get it delivered home all you do is put the shelves in that that's it. You're ready to go. It's $20 off today. It's on flight. I know our clock is almost up, but Jared just said, and Jared is the man of it. He I said, know. I'm going to go another minute on this because we got a lot of folks that are, that are tuning in at the last second. Here's what I'll tell you. They, I'm looking right at There is no way you will ever <laughs> return this. There's no way you, I know you won't. You're not going, because it literally solves such a if big problem that we all If they return have. it, what? I don't want to know them. Right. That's it. If you return it, I'm teasing. You have your right to return it. But what I'm telling you is, you get this thing, you get this home, you will absolutely love it. And I, you know what I say when either, whether, whether it's uh, you or Lou, I always say, this is a really great item to pick as your very first purchase at HSN. I agree. Because it's kind of everything we're about. Making life easy, things that are versatile, things that are affordable, stuff that you really can use, that you didn't know you needed, exactly. all that great stuff. This hits on all the bells and whistles, and today you can get it with free shipping. I, and honestly, I'm, you know, I'm, obviously I'm joking with you, but take try it out for 30 days. I know yeah. for a fact because most people, almost everybody online, is like, "Wow, it's a lot, it's a lot more durable than I thought it would be." And that is 100 yeah. percent. Right. It's wood again. You got that beautiful wood, and then that powder coated steel, and the colors. I mean, I like I said, the red and the turquoise, awesome. top two colors in the kitchen. Industrial with the silver, gold with all of your stainless steel, and then the bronze, rich and great with wood. And tones. you could be a little coffee lady too I if could. you wanted to take this. Who would Here, not I'll want follow coffee? You over. Who would want enough coffee from you? All right, we gotta go. Thank you, Tracy Rosa. Thank you, my You're friend. the best. Hey, I want to remind everybody, Mark Gill's coming up a little bit later. And if you have a bunch of knives in your house that are not sharp, well, let me tell you, they'll be sharp after you buy this. It's called it's called uh, the any sharp knife sharpener. I have one of these at my house, and I will tell you, I'm one of those firm believers in a sharp knife. The only dangerous knife, and John Florell will tell you this too, is a dull knife, so you need to keep them sharp, and this is a very easy way to do that. And all of our kitchen experts, you're not gonna find any dull knives in our kitchen. They're all sharp back there, because they know they need to be sharp. We even have them in a variety of cool colors. That's coming up with free shipping a little bit later. All right, I wanna move on. I wanna get to my man, John Florell. And I always say, I would the same intro for John. I always if you have John's here, it's something cool that's going to come. <laughs> some cool is coming something to, to help you, you get your, to help you get your uh, make your life easy and get your prep work done. And this is from our uh, Chop series. And I will tell you that these products number these products are so are, are so highly rated and great yep. products. The first thing we're going to talk about is the speed grater and slicer. Now, John, I know because John is an outdoorsman, fisherman, yep. does all that stuff. He knows a lot about food prep. Yep. This makes life easy, it, bro. It really does. I mean, most people have that old four sided knuckle buster grater at home. You know, one of these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which works until you get close to your fingers and then you end up getting a manicure. Well, with the speed grater, it's, it is what it says. I mean, talk about speed. All you do, you take a potato if you want to make, uh, well, here, I've got the slicing insert in here right now. It also comes with a grating, a large grate and a, a fine grate. So you've got the coarse fine and a, and a slicer. And all you do is push down on the handle. This will slice, okay? And well, here, all you do yeah, is push down. Thing. Look at this. With this handle, too, everything comes out the front, mm -hmm. okay? And I got to show you this. This potato is, uh, I think, a little bit rotten in the there middle. There we go. There you go. Now you're <laughs> good, 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 good. But good. look at this. Everything comes out right wow. through the center of the drum. Now, it's so easy to clean, too. You pop the handle off, 
the drum comes out, and everything goes right into the bowl in the front. So everything is so super easy to use, easy to clean, because let's face it, if something's hard to clean, we'll never use it, yeah, right? Yeah, you won't do it Here, right. take a look at this. I mean, if you want to slice cucumbers for cucumber salad. That's a big cucumber. Or for bread and butter pickles. What? Or maybe you want to do, uh, you know, slice beets for pickling. Uh, how about oh. hard-boiled eggs for a salad? And when you get close to your fingers, wow. you get down to the end, it's got this plunger, okay, it's this little on pusher top. on top that feeds it right down to the very last piece so there's Nothing never else. any waste. Now, I want you to notice, too, when I turn this backwards, okay, anything left in the drum, look, that's all that's left of that. You saw the size of that yeah, cucumber. a little bit of skin. I mean, we just filled up an entire bowl. I can't get over that. Full of cucumber. So if you but, were making, like, cucumber salad and something like yeah. that, you don't, I mean, heck, you don't even have to break out the big bad knife. You can that's put right. it right in there. That is but awesome. But things that normally people have a hard time slicing with a knife, I want you to see this because for nickeling down carrots, for canning, slicing beets for pickling, every slice comes out the same, so it's not like a knife where you get one thick, one thin, okay? Yeah. It's a drum slicer, but it's also a grater. And I want you to see this. Here's how easy this is to clean out. Now, by the way, on the, on the handle here, you'll see a little red tab. You pull that tab back to release the handle. Yeah. That's how you change out the drum. So oh. if I wanted to switch from a slicer, okay, we'll take this. And by the way, these are all dishwasher safe, stainless steel. I'm going to put in the grating insert, okay? This is the Locks coarse in. grate. Oh, I like that. Okay. So now, instead of, uh, well, here, uh, instead of... Uh, Slicing your carrots. Now you're going to grate carrot for carrot cake. Oh, John, okay. Look at that. Or for grating over a salad. And I mean, you would never do this this safe, fast, or easy with the old four-sided tin can. Yeah, that we all, exactly. <laughs> that we all have, right? Well, and you know, we're all. I mean, look to how eat, quick and easy that we're comes out. We're trying to eat healthier, and we're trying. And this is always this is virtually impossible to do with a knife. That's okay? right. There's no way you're going to be able to do that. There's certain things you can do with a knife. You can't do that. And and when and a lot of people are trying to eat like the veggie noodles. That's right. The veggie salads, but they get sick of the same old style. That's Chop. right. You look at all you can do here. <laughs> wow. I mean, and it does it all. So it doesn't matter whether it's a hard vegetable, a soft vegetable, like a zucchini, like this. You get perfect grating. Mm -hmm because of the design of this machine. All it's need, a drum yeah. grater that's so fast. I mean, look how fast we filled up that entire All you would have to do is, is salt and pepper oil and vinegar in there. That's and you it. have an amazing, <laughs> that's healthy, delicious salad that you can make. And you know it's, it, and you, you feel full because you're how eating about, vegetables. How about hash browns in the morning? We all love yeah, hash yeah, browns, but why buy them in a freezer bag when you can make them oh fresh yourself? I mean, look at this. There's a, an entire potato that was done in less than 10 seconds, right? How long would that take you to do by hand or with one of those old four, you know, but one of those old four-sided graders. Look at that. With the plunger on top, it feeds it down into the machine. There's never any waste. You've got hash browns by the pounds, <laughs> literally in seconds. Yeah, let me, hey John, really quick while you uh, into your bowl there, because I didn't, I didn't plan on you making that much food <laughs> that quickly. Uh, but anyway, let me show you what you're going to get when you order this. So when you when you choose uh, this this item, first of all, it's twenty dollars off today. It's thirty nine ninety five. You have your choice of getting it in red, or it also comes in this kind of modded sort of modeled gray looking color. It's just kind of a silver gray. When you order, everybody gets three of the little barrel uh, dicer slicers choppers. So you can choose whatever type of uh, material you want to use and, and how it's how it's chopped. So if you just want to grate it, you have the grater attachment. If you want a slicer attachment, you have the slicer attachment. And then you have the one that makes like the little sticks and hash browns and things like that. It simply locks on one side right here. This is how the handle comes off and then the little barrel comes out. Yep. That's how you rinse it out. This will also lock down to a countertop. It uses a suction cup that's on the bottom. Uh, you'll notice the one thing that is missing from this, and I apologize, is the cord. You don't yeah, have anything to plug no in. Cord, right. There's nothing to do <laughs> but just give it a little spin. That's all you have to do. So I love that. That's why boaters and fishermen and people that go camping, yep. you don't want to bring another appliance that needs to be plugged in. You can utilize this anywhere. If you want to grate cheese for an omelet, if you and want to do potatoes for hash browns. Absolutely. Right? The best part, I think, is it locks in place on your countertop. And I'll show you right here on the side, okay? There's a little knob right here on the side of the machine. This is the base. It sits down on your countertop or tabletop. And then all you do is lock it in place like this, okay? That locks it solid on the, on the stand. Now, right here, this is how you change out the stand. You just turn the knob on the side. Now the whole top comes off like this, okay? Yeah. And now with this, now you can change that out. You can wash it if you like. Right. Put it, and when you lock it back on top, all you do is lock it down. 
turn this and it's locked in place solid again. Now, I'm gonna change this out, okay? I'm gonna change out the handle here. Okay. And we're gonna put the, a grating blade in because this fine grate, I showed you the coarse grate. Yeah. You're gonna love this fine grate for things like making, uh, breading a fish, chicken or meatloaf, oh, yeah, okay? Yeah. Put like, breadcrumbs or making homemade fresh breadcrumbs. Crackers like this, push down on the plunger and all you do is turn the handle. I mean, you, now for your cakes and that. pies. Awesome. Hey, how about graham cracker crust? I was just thinking cheesecake, uh, exactly. For, You're for you cheesecake? living where I live. Or even when I make crab <laughs> cakes and things like that, right? And I, need, right. I need to do, I put, I put like those Ritchie type cra crackers in my uh, crab cakes. Look, Look at, at this. that. I mean, there's, uh, you see, can I show everybody how fine that is, Jeff? That's super fine. Okay. Now, and of course, because because it comes out fine, because it's a fine grater, it's gonna come out fine. If you want it coarser than that, all yeah. you do is put in the other drum. Now I'm gonna show you something else too, because here, I'm gonna switch this bowl out. Sure. We'll put this back here. And most people love finely grated cheese, right? For like Parmesan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this is the only thing you use this grater for. What? For Parmesan cheese, Are hard Parmesan. I mean, John. it comes out like angel hair out of this machine. Look at that. So you spread that over your pasta dishes, wow. over a lasagna or over, you know. And, yeah. And again, with that plunger, you never waste anything. Now for harder cheeses, obviously, you're gonna wanna go with that, the coarser grate. So we have that. Again, these are all dishwasher safe. All you do is pop it in. Now you'll listen, when I push this handle on, can you hear that click, mm -hmm. okay? When it clicks in place like that, that's locked on, all right? Now you can take your softer cheese. Here, we'll put this back here. Yeah. We'll do it. I mean, this is what most people use that old four-sided knuckle buster for, right? It's a I dangerous mean. thing, bro. It's a dangerous thing. <laughs> if you've ever slipped thing. on one of those yeah, things, I man. Have. You do it but one time, you'll hopefully never ever do it again in your life. <laughs> hey, so, how about for tacos, enchiladas, yeah. burritos, tostadas? I mean, on that. taco night for grated cheese, fresh. Instead Pizza. of buying it in the bag, grate yeah. it up for you, it's so much cheaper to buy it in the block. There's no and way. And grate it at home yourself. John, look at every and bit of that cheese that was, comes yeah. out. And that was an entire block of cheese grated perfectly for your taco night. <laughs> all right, 39.95. If that's all you use it for, you'll it's love it. It's on FlexPay. Jared, does that say four flex of 9.99? That's fantastic, okay. Uh, and shipping is free, so I think it's five or six bucks to ship this out, $20 off the price. You're, you're really only limited by your own imagination yep, on this stuff. So you want to use this breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can do just about everything for, for your omelets, right. so you know, right? I mean, yeah, things like take that. some candy, some hard candies, put it in to, on the top like this for, for ice cream sundaes, for cakes, for pies, I mean, I just I would like to put down. my I would <laughs> like to put my head right underneath there and throw just some, catch that into throw my some mouth. Some peanuts in here, for, so you know some That's peanuts like and M Ms. And look at this. In a matter of seconds, you've got your grated nuts, That's walnuts, nuts. almonds, cashews. All you do is turn the handle, wow. and now you've got look at this. You've got a perfect ice cream here, sundae. John, ice put cream some on my, John, yeah, yeah, put some on the ice cream that I can't eat right now. Look at this. I mean, what a great way to do this. Top off a birthday cake. Welcome to John's Sunday shop. <laughs> Look at that. that and it's up. so simple, it's all done with all right, that speed John, grater. We, we're gonna put five minutes up on the clock in just a sec because right. we are getting extremely busy and I don't even know if we're gonna have enough of these. We only brought in a couple of thousand, well, hundreds are already gone. Um, you know what I like too about this? Yes. The big, 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 big deal about this. Regular food processor. Let's let's talk about the positives and negatives. Right. First of all, if it's just me and my and my partner or my wife or my husband, right. do I need an industrial food processor every time <laughs> I want to make something? No. no. Number two, I don't have a power source all the time when I want to use right. it. Not only that, is there anything harder to, to clean than a food processor? <laughs> That's just it. <laughs> I mean, how right. simple is this? The drums come out. They're dishwasher safe. Top shelf of the dishwasher. And I mean, look at that. There's your grated peanuts, your grated M and M's, ready for your ice cream toppings. And a, and a, like I said before, guy, if the only thing you use this for, like I said, is that fine grating, okay? With this fine grater for your Parmesan cheese, oh, you're yeah. gonna love this. Um, let me show you again how this comes off. I'm gonna clean this yeah, out. Yeah, if you get a little stuff in the quick. barrel, just knock yeah, it out. Yeah, right down here on the bottom, okay, on the base, there's a little twist ring. You pull that out. Now you can take this to your you know, sink or yeah. trash can or whatever, clean it out. I love that. Lock Easy it back down up. inside. I'm gonna put the, the fine grating blade back in here. You hear it snap, there and it is. You'll hear it lock into place. And look at this, I mean, just for your breadcrumbs alone, look at, I'm running out of bowls here we're going through. So. Well, yeah, you, you know, you, you're doing a <laughs> look lot. Look at this. Look That's at that. why we call it the speed grater. Why waste all that time with those handheld knuckle busters when all you have to do is lock this down on your countertop or tabletop? And I mean, if you do any baking, 
if you do, yeah. you'll love this for your desserts, okay? Sure. You'll love it for that hard cheese like Parmesan John, or Romano. You'll use it. This, yeah, that's you know what I mean? It. You'll use it. This is one of those it. tools that you will use. Yeah. And it's so easy to clean. The handle comes off, the drums come out, these go in the dishwasher. Again, you get three of the drums, you get the coarse grate, you get the fine grate, yeah. and right here, you get the slicing and, and again, uh, look, at, look at the consistency of this stuff. I mean, this right. is this is beautiful. Um, so, so you're really getting. You can you can adjust the consistency based on which one of those uh, plates you put in. How about this? All right, we only have a few minutes left. Crazy busy. Hundreds of you ordering this. You know, what I think is great about this is honestly a regular food processor, wonderful product. Don't get me wrong, yep. food product. But it's they have their two, three, four hundred dollars, right? Uh -huh. And it's a nightmare to clean, and it's usually too much for two people. It, absolutely. This I is mean, ideal this is for quick, one person safe, or two or fast. three. Before. It's easy. Yeah. Your kids can do this at home. I'm taking chunks of chocolate, oh, okay, and giving chocolate slivers for ice cream toppings or for a cake topping. You know, I mean, look at that. You can't get it any better than Making that. Making your own shavings <laughs> for your own cave. You have right. your own little bakery. You can do your own thing yeah, right there. White chocolate too. Hey, John, do me a favor. Will you? Can you? Um, since a lot of people joined us late, yes. Can you go back and do some more veggies? Absolutely. Because I love. Look, I, I mean, a lot of people are eating healthy salads yep. and things like that. And and the problem with veggies is they're hard to make into like salad eating form. Right. You know what I mean? You got mm -hmm. without going and buying the bag already Here, done. You take the entire zucchini. Watch. Okay. Right off the produce shelf in the grocery store. Take it home. Look put it in the top guy. of the machine. What? And you can grate your zucchini for zucchini uh, hey, for zucchini that. pastas, yeah, or for uh, zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Ooh, you can if fry you that want too, it John, finer, you can fry that, absolutely. <laughs> if you want it finer than that, use the fine grating blade. Now I've got the coarse grating drum in here right now, yeah. But watch this because here, if you want to make hash browns, just for hash browns alone, here's a potato. All you do is twist the handle, and you got hash browns pouring out of the oh machine. I mean, <laughs> that's how quick and easy it is. I'm starving. And now. your fingers never get close to the cutting edges. Look, we've all slipped on one of these, right? I mean, when you get close down to the end, if you slip, you'll take off a nail or a knuckle. You don't have to worry about it with the speed grader. How about this? Try this. Take a few radishes, all right? Put it in the top you of the machine. Your nose with a knife. Watch <laughs> this. Now you've got your grated what? radishes for your salads. And look at and the shape of them. <laughs> wait, know, wait, look. Perfect. Look, have you ever had a radish <clears throat> that looked like that? And look if, it. Listen, if you don't want it grated, I'm going to yeah. pop the handle off. You we'll pull the drum out. Radishes? Here, we'll put the slicing insert in and watch this. I mean, just for your sliced radishes for salads. You can do two or three or four at a time if you like. Here, I'll put four in here. Put the plunger on top. All you do is twist the handle and you got your sliced radishes for your salad that quick and, and easy. And never, <laughs> and nary a sliced finger because That's you right. never had to grab the blade. Slice your zucchini. Yeah. For baking. Okay, sliced potatoes for here. A slicing potatoes for pan fries, home fries, or raw fries, or for cottage fries. I mean, all you do is twist the handle. You get perfect sliced potatoes for your homemade potato chips. And I want you to see these. Come in close on this because you can yeah. see every slice is perfect. It's the exact same thickness as the last slice. So when you're slicing with a knife, I mean, a knife has its place in the kitchen, and we've got a great one coming up here in a few minutes. Oh my but gosh! <laughs> you got a cleaver. With a knife, you get you know you get one thick, one thin. Show sometimes everybody, one's the, show everybody the cleaver but, we got coming. Yeah, up. this cleaver. <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs. Love this. Let me tell you this. Everybody ha should have a cleaver. There's so many different things you can use a right. cleaver for, and I'll get into that in a bit. That's coming up at a discounted price. Uh, John, we're gonna start wrapping it here, over six, over 500. I wanna talk about the uh, the Season with Authority by Mark Murphy, as you know Mark Murphy from Shop, uh, his cookbook. One of the things that I actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very studied up on these types of things. I know you made a Jared, and you probably don't know that. But I, uh, I have lots of notes about spices and how they work with different uh, things, because all of our chefs that work here understand how to utilize spices and how to season meats and vegetables but it's a it's a science and you really need to know the right way to do it this book gives you great information on how to season properly which is the key to cooking all right we're going to run away for a sec but be right back so stick around join me amy morrison on the beauty report your weekly destination for beauty is back from hair and makeup to skin care and nails revamp your entire beauty routine to look and feel your best tune in tonight at 7 p.m 
Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. All right, so again, John, if, you, if, you, if you're having fun so far, the fun has just begun because we're going to show you, listen, I worked in the restaurant business for about 20 years. John's yeah. got a lot of affiliations with chefs and cooking and restaurants, all that stuff. And he's a, he's a foodie guy like me. We all know, as, as people in the business, how important it is to make food look good. That's right. And, and it also, not only is, is pleasing to the eye, but the texture of food is very important when you're eating it as well. We've got a peeler set that is unlike any other peeler set we've ever shown you before because it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow almost every everybody yes. to make things that professional chefs have been making for years where you go, ooh, ah, when they bring food out to the <laughs> right. table, John's going to show you how to do that with our two-piece peeler set. I By mean, the way, it's on sale today. Even just like with a, a slice of cucumber like this made yeah. with a peeler, what a beautiful garnish for the top of a salad. Sushi, cucumber or, or wraps. for sushi. I yeah. mean, any thinner than that, that thing would only have one side, <laughs> you know? But that's the whole length of a cucumber. It's all stuff that you can do with our professional peeler set. It's a two-piece set. Now, you've got your straight peeler which literally this thing will peel just about everything. Right. I mean, obviously, a p people think of a peeler as for potatoes. And yes, of course, it will do potatoes. It's right-handed, left-handed. It peels in both directions, so it's twice as fast as most, most other peelers. But here's what's cool. See this little loop on the side? That's there to dig the eyes out of your potatoes, okay? So you don't have to peel it down, right, waste right, half right, your right, potato, right. you yeah. know? I used to watch my grandmother do that with it right in the kitchen sink. Sure. With this potato peeler, or with this pe veg veggie peeler, it literally peels just about everything, and you don't waste anything because of that little eye on the side, right-handed or left-handed. And you can do other things with that, too, like scoring vegetables like this for uh, maybe, uh, you know, keep one of these on your bar. Sure. You want to twist a lemon or a twist a lime, a twist of orange, mm -hmm. now you can pop that right into your little uh, cocktail. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Or, and again, for, for scoring your vegetables, what's really cool about this is you can really get creative when you've got a good peeler set. This peeler set, it's got the silicone around the bottom, okay? So it's easy to hold on to. It also, it's got the, the U shape, so you can, it makes it easier or more ergonomic. But because of all the different tools that you have on this, I mean, just for scoring your vegetables like this, you wanna do long, thin julienne pieces of a cucumber or a zucchini, you can get really fancy and have a lot of fun using this peeler, right. okay? I'm gonna just show you a couple of tricks here, and then I'm gonna show you that other peeler, because the, uh, the second part of this set is the julienning peeler. Now, I'm doing it, I'm giving you long, thick juliennes this way, mm -hmm. okay? But now that you've done that all the way around your watch cucumber, pretty, yeah. watch this, just take your uh, favorite knife, and by the way, this is coming up here. Now you can do your, look at that, the little yeah. pinwheels. They come out perfect, beautiful, yep. for garnishing salads. That's yeah. all stuff that you can do and, when and you've got a look, good peeler and you, and you can do, you can actually cook carrots and you can wrap the carrots. That's right. And look, because I've had those at gourmet restaurants, you get right. your carrots and they're wrapped with a piece of cucumber or they're wrapped with a with a uh, scallion or something. Right. It's, that is the key to making food look good. Yeah. But you have the tools to do it now. And, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Like, take a head of cabbage, okay? Cut it in half. Here, I'm going to take this cleaver. We'll slice this head Cleaver's of cabbage Cleaver's available. In half. It's coming up, by Watch the way. Watch this, because now you can even, this peeler is so sharp, you can literally make cabbage coleslaw right there with your peeler on your countertop or tabletop, all right? Or right there on your, uh, <laughs> right at the dinner table. If yeah, you like. look at that. Look at that, fresh coleslaw done with a peeler. Now, oh, I gotta show you this other one too because this peeler right here is my favorite by far. It's called an angel hair julienne cut, okay? It has teeth on it and the cutting blade. So you'll take any solid vegetable, like a potato, a beet, an apple, a cucumber, or a zucchini like this, and when you pull it across here, it gives you long angel hair strips. Look I don't know it. if you can you see Look that? Look that. falling down onto the table. So now, yeah. there you go. You That's can do, make your zucchini pastas, angel hair style. Wow, do you can carrots, do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for carrots, so beets, zucchini, cucumbers, apples, you get that long angel hair julienne. I'll Look tell you, what? I mean, <laughs> for the, for the no price waste. today, you won't find a better set of peelers. Look at and this. Again, this is all stainless steel by Chopped. Look at that. It, 
<laughs> look at that. I mean, look at the, yeah, but look at the mound we just made. I mean, you and add you <laughs> add like a little balsamic vinaigrette to that, and maybe a little That's a right. little shave a little of that cheese on there. I know. You've got a, a no carb essentially, right? Yep. Meal, a little bit of carb in the in the sugar from the carrot, but and you've made a delicious meal again, creating one of a kind consistency. Yes. Not just not just flavors. And get and have fun with these. Okay. Yeah. Take an orange, a lemon, or a lime. Peel the skin off like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to do half of this. You, usually you can do the whole thing, but take this peel. Now I'm going to put this right up here in the front. All you do is roll it up like this. And I want to show you how, how much fun you can be having with your food when you've got a good peeler set. This set of two peelers, it d literally does way more work than a normal peeler would do. I'm going to wrapping this up. Watch this. Look we'll slide you. it over to the side. And look at that. You've got Decorative a beautiful little. rose See? for the top of a fruit salad. You were one day late on that one, Johnny Boy. One <laughs> day late on your hearty hey, listen. rose <laughs> orange thing. <laughs> All right, we got to move on because everybody's already calling us about the, about the, uh, about the, what do you call it? About the oh, chopper, the about the yeah. cleaver. Uh, if you if you if you joined us late and you missed out on our chopped uh, speed grater, um, Jared, what? Four hundred of those gone. Five hundred, eight hundred now of wow. those gone. Holy mackerel! Uh, we have them available in gray and red. Uh, unbelievable. If you, don't, if you don't want a big fancy schmancy food processor, you don't want to spend the money, you don't want to clean it, uh, but you want to get the great results, you can utilize that using this convenient no plug-in. Just turn the crank. There's three different shredding blades in there. It is, and, and by the way, if you did watch this, every bit as much fun to use yourself as it is to watch us do it. Oh, yeah. So that's still available. Um, all right, so uh, I will tell you this, and, and it's funny because John knows I'm a restaurant guy. I've been I've done, it, done it for years and years yeah. and years. I, my first cleaver that I ever owned was the chopped cleaver. Right. Um, and I was very lucky because I got one delivered to my desk so I could utilize it at home because I'm one of those guys that says, hey, I got regular knives, I don't need a cleaver. Right. Let me tell you how cool and awesome my cleaver is, okay? Because I can get through the toughest meats. I can get through and do exactly what you're doing if I want to bone out things, yep. especially if you want to do your own chicken and you want to bone out chicken or if you want to slice anything and you want to do it in a hurry and you don't even want to bring out your processor, this is the way to do it. What you've got here is an incredibly versatile tool, high quality. Uh, you've got a full tang stainless steel construction, uh, construction high yep. carbon steel. Triple riveted handle. Triple riveted. This is, this is a this customer is pick on hsn.com. And I'll tell you, even if you used to just clean your board, Yep, it's that's a it. scooper. I know. It's, it's a prepping. scooper. It's yeah, a it's slicer. Awesome. It's a cleaver. It's that's, a cutter. Look at the price. It goes John. through. Uh, 14, and see, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, you would not. Ridiculous. You can't find that price. No. I, I, look at this. I mean, I'm cutting right through ribs. Look, I'm using my hand because because of the weight of this knife, you can use it like this. Okay, it's got that really really super sharp razor sharp edge. But can you see how it's a little bit rounded? That makes it easy for chopping up your vegetables. Yeah, it's the for, best. for uh, mincing garlic, for mincing yeah. your herbs. It's got that rounded edge, but it's got the weight to be able to take, well here, let me put this down, down below here. And it's got the weight behind it to where if you wanted to disjoint tur uh, chicken or turkey, you can go right through the bone, okay? Wow. Because of the design and the weight of that knife is perfectly balanced. And for the, I mean, for, what is that, $14.95? Uh, it's, <laughs> let me just tell you, this, this is easily, this is a $100 cleaver. Oh yeah. Um, and plus it's from the chopped guys and you know those guys are not gonna put out any garbage knives, you know that? Right. Um, so, and, I, and, and you know what it is? A lot of people won't buy a cleaver because they think, ah, it's not worth spending the money because I've got other knives. But I will tell you, you at, four, at $14.95, you can't afford not to get a cleaver. And, and again, I use my, it's funny how often I use the cleaver. I always use it for holiday. Right. I always, I, now I like to buy a whole chicken and bone it out. I like to do that, so I use it for that. I use it for doing what John is doing for, for when I have to chop a lot of vegetables. Yep. I utilize it for that as well. You know what my, one of my number one things is for me? Too, What's that? Is uh, butternut squash. Absolutely. One of the yeah, hardest things to peel weight. or cut are squash or pumpkins. <laughs> My mother, okay, has been on me for years. Because, you know, I've been 30 years in the, you know, kitchen gadget yeah. business. She always tells me, invent a squash cutter. If you can invent a squash I, cutter, a hard because thing to everybody cut, has a hard time yeah. cutting through. Hey, here's an acorn squash, okay? And I mean, this is the thing. Most people would think... Uh, I, if you could not, you could not do this with a normal knife. Not if you want to use that, that hand again. <laughs> but look at this. <laughs> that you hand can would be split sore. a butternut squash. Yeah. You clean out the seeds. I mean, this is. I don't know if you've ever had baked butternut before. Oh, it's God. delicious. Me? Actually, I live with that. Didn't stuff. you find my butternut squash in the in the oven oh, in there earlier? Was that you that snuck it in there? <laughs> 
Yeah, there's only one in there I now. Mean, I don't know who. I think uh, what's her what's her name? Little, little most Tracy people Rosa <laughs> stole one out of there. <laughs> most people don't buy uh, squash go because it's so your, hard you to go cut. Get your squash. You want to go get with it. this knife? Now you can season. Okay, <laughs> you can put your brown sugar and cinnamon yeah. on the top. You know, big pat of butter. Throw them in the oven. Here's some brown sugar. We'll top this off with some brown sugar. <laughs> all right, I'm getting right. a little excited Take here. Take your time, John. Uh, I know. It's all right. <laughs> That's good. Here I want to get back to cut that. Are you want me to go get the other one? Are you going to go this. get it? Take the, yo, you want to get it? Yeah. Right, you here, got, put this one in. Take I'll that one out because I'll have these yeah, later. Give me this. All right. All right. So what John is basically showing you is, <laughs> is, is this is one of those, you know what, John? What's this that? is one of those dishes you won't make because you can't cut the dang squash. That's right. That's right. So a here, lot of people, he, my mother for one, she can't here. do it. My, she used to call me into the kitchen all the there's, time. There's the appetite. Yeah. Oh, right look there. at that. Look Isn't that beautiful? That, that looks delicious. is it why you get amazing. a big cleaver, gang. <laughs> smells nice amazing. It does smell and now, awesome. With the knife, too, after you chop your vegetables, you can pick it up a as a, like a scooper and serve it on your plate or platter. So whether you're doing meats, cheeses, veggies like this, it's an easy way to clean up your cutting board. Another thing I love mine for, I love my garlic, okay, and fresh garlic. Listen, lay it down flat. All you do is go, <laughs> you peel your garlic uh, that quick and easy, finish. okay? And because of that rocking blade, yeah. now you can mince your garlic, okay? It's the best. I mean, just one clove of garlic like this. Pulverize it, you can flatten it down to nothing. You can turn oh, yeah. it into mush uh, because these knives are so amazing. John, let me show everybody really quickly because we've got about a minute now. I want to show you the knife itself because it's important that you look at the quality of this knife. Yeah. When you look at the back of it, you'll notice this is a, and you can come in a little closer if you want, but you see how thick that steel is? This knife is yeah. made very, very extra thick for a couple of reasons. One, and it's full tank, so it goes top to bottom. That gives you balance when you're holding it. When you hold one of these to chopping, you use it like that, or for, for slicing. When you cut, you use it like that because you want the leverage, but it's full tang. You have triple riveted construction right here. The reason they make this so thick on the back is because you're gonna sharpen this over and over. You're gonna have this knife probably for 20 to 30 years, okay? That's what these knives are oh, yeah. designed yep. to be around for. So when you look at 1495, this will be the last cleaver you own, probably the last cleaver your kids own, because you can sharpen it thousands of times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Literally. it's got the steel there. Yeah. But look at this. I mean, here's butternut squash. I mean, how hard is it to cut through butternut squash with a normal kitchen knife? You have to have that cleaver. And how about things like this? You want a piece of butternut <laughs> squash at me, John. What the heck? Here, you want to peel my cleaver up, up there. <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes I'm like the sweetest chef from the Muppets. Yeah, you, know? you I were, just throw yeah. food everywhere. Yeah, but. a little, uh, a little <laughs> Julian Tong coming out of you there. Look how quick and easy this stuff. <laughs> yes. All, All right. right, now you lay that down. And look, I mean, yeah, in seconds, awesome the job is done. I know. You have to You're have a good, heavy it. knife, yeah. and this is the one that does you, the job. You don't have to put as much of your own energy into it because the knife does the job. And, and by the way, you'll notice that all of our knives are extremely sharp. Yes. Why? Because Mr. Mark Gill came out ahead of time, and he sharpened all of our knives with the sharpener of the S coming up. And, and I will tell you, John will tell you, now you're yep. a fisherman. Is there anything scarier than a knife that's dull? No. Right? The dull you know. knife is what you're going to cut yourself with. It will every yeah. single time. So you need the right way to, to sharpen it. Mr. Florell, you're just amazing. It's you're pleasure. amazing. You did a lot of work today. You ran around like a crazy man. Thank you so I much. You a sweat bead coming You are there. sweating a little bit. <laughs> you did the job of 10 people today, buddy. Thank good you, good work. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, I am uh, I am going to toss things over to my my beautiful ex-co-host on HSN today who is always my host at heart, the lovely Leslie Ann Machado. You're so sweet. That's my TV husband, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I will see you in about 15 minutes, but I wanted to make sure that you've already downloaded our free HSN app. If you haven't seen it, it has newly added features that make shopping easier than ever. And of course, you can shop wherever and anywhere you go. Receive push notifications at the start of each flash sale to remind you when your favorite guests are coming on. And by the way, you can have your very own personal inbox for offers you can't miss, like flex pay and free shipping and monthly coupons that you'll be receiving there. You can also get early access to great today's specials from Andrew Lessman and of course, Joy Mangano, and even use your fingerprint to check out securely uh, with Touch ID, and that's always for iPhone as well. So make sure you check it all out. Just search app on hsn.com to get more details, and don't you go anywhere, because I will see you in about 12 minutes with the lovely Trish McAvoy. I'll send it back to Guy and Mark Gill.
All right, thank you, lovely Leslie. Uh, hey, listen, while I got a lot of you on the line right now buying that cleaver, I want you to take a look at the best way you can keep that cleaver in its top condition, which means sharp all the time. Mr. Mark Gill is gonna show you how to do that. And with this little compact device mm -hmm. right in the palm of his hands, he's gonna add a dimension to your knives maybe you haven't seen in a long time, I'll tell right? you what, one of the handiest, most used gadget you are ever gonna put in your kitchen. And safety first, okay? This is gonna attach on your counter, any counter at all, as long as it's a non-porous surface with a suction cup. So let me show you that here. I'm going to turn it over and you can see that this is how they attach. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right over here and I've got a little bit of tile here because we've got vinyl on our table. Right. Yeah. So I want you to watch this. Okay. You're just simply going to press it down and you're going to attach it. Once that's on there, you could move your kitchen countertop around gotcha. if you wanted to. Right. Okay. Now this is your standard Typical mm -hmm. bubble wrap, $8, get the job done, department store knife, sure. okay? Now here's how you use this. First things first, it's one-handed. That means there's no hand on a handle, nothing second you have to put your hand towards. You're gonna pull it back so it's always away from you. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a wipe with a dry knife and guys, that's it. If it doesn't have the edge you wanted to, simply do it again. Now this is your $8 knife. Wow. I want you to have a look at this. Wow. Performs perfectly every single time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this aside for now because this wow. is a considerably more expensive knife. And this is the part that I want you to understand. Whether your knife was $10 or 100, out of the box, that edge is exactly the same. So if you're not ready for a new set Look of knives, that, if, you love your, if you love your knives, and by the way, this is tungsten carbide. I'm not quite yeah. sure how close we can get on that, but see this, You guys. need to see the filings coming off. That means, that means you're sharpening a knife. Exactly. <laughs> that, you want to see that. Uh, uh, give it a wipe with a good, dry good towel. Good shot That's there, it. guys. Thank you for that. And watch this. Watch. This is your $8 knife. What? This is your $80 <laughs> knife, guys. They perform Butter. exactly the same. Oh my and gosh, that, Mark is the kind of results that any sharp is gonna give you every single you know, time. That's the thing, and, and then listen, before any of you get out there and Mark, <laughs> Mark, tell everybody about this. <laughs> well, here, that's this the thing. This is, let me tell you something, if you're not, if you're not Ming Tsai, or if you're not, uh, <laughs> you're not Wolfgang, or, or any of our wonderful right. chefs, uh, Curtis, Oop. you don't really know how to use this thing. All right, you go ahead, you go ahead. All right, well, so listen, a lot of you are saying to yourself, <laughs> you wait a second, it. I yeah. am a sharpener. You know what, you actually don't. What you have is a knife steel. Now, there's two ways to use this. You can either do this, yeah. or if you have confidence, you can do this. The problem is, unless you're doing this at exactly 20 degrees, you're not sharpening the knife, exactly. you're dulling it, right. guys. This is designed to remove burrs. So watch this, simple kitchen sponge, and you can see how much pressure I'm putting on this, guys. It's not even enough to score it, all right? <laughs> Follow me over here to the any sharp, Same and again, knife. watch real close. Tungsten blade technology, you guys. There isn't three different stones. One, Watch the material two, come off, watch. Three, four, Five. Give it a wipe with a dry cloth. If it's not got quite the edge you need, just do it again. And you ready? This same sponge, same knife. Look at that, you guys. That's what we're <laughs> yeah, talking dude, about. That's and now, awesome. this isn't the most expensive knife in the world. It's not the best knife in the world. But the bottom line is, it now has a brand new clean edge. So yeah. whether this knife was ten bucks or a thousand, it's going to work the exact same way. Yeah. And that's what I love. And you need the tungsten blade on there to be able to that right. carbide blade to be able to remove the steel. It's the only thing hard enough that'll take the shavings off your knife. I know when you look at it, you're like, "What well, isn't that ruining my knife?" That is what knives are supposed to be done. To, that's what you're supposed to do to a knife when you sharpen it. Remove material to get the edge back. It's the only way to do it. And if you want to invest in a plug-in machine, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a waste of time. Well, let's talk this about that. This is the way to do it. And you can take this anywhere, even if you're a fisherman. Exactly. Right? If you fish, if you camp, if you hunt, yeah. anything like that. Now, guys, here's where I want you to see the difference, okay? Because some of you have professional knife sharpeners. They have three stages. My goodness, they must be better. Well, all yeah. of those three stages are stones. They're rocks. This is tungsten carbide. Have a look here, guys. You can see I've painted this blade, and I don't know how, you can cl how close you can get, but I've painted it right down to the metal edge. There we go, that's a perfect view Thank right you. there. Beautiful. So now watch what I'm gonna do here, okay guys? I'm gonna walk it over here, this is one step. And remember, safety first. There's no second hand that has to be anywhere near the sharpener. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here's what I want you to see, okay? Come on back over here, oh, there is good demo, your Mark. brand new Lord. edge. A that perfect a 20 shot. degrees on both sides, one step, sharp as a razor, and to prove it, you guys, yeah. here is a demonstration that I save for the sharpest knives that I yeah. ever work with. And we I'm only have one here. grape for 10 people, <laughs> Mark. Can we share it? That's the blade <laughs> that you're gonna put what? on that knife. 
every single time, you guys. Oh my gosh. That's what we're talking about. A sharp knife really cool. is a safe knife, See and this is going to keep every knife you have, regardless of how much you spend, sharp as can okay, be. Remember, it's not the steel that no. gives you the edge, it's how long that edge will last. I could use one of those as a contact lens. <laughs> as I'm going to pop it in for my contact lens. All right, so here's what I'll tell you. If you'd like this, it's called any sharp. I, and, and I think part of the any is not just that any knife can do it, anybody can utilize this. Right. It's safe. You do not use the honing stick in your hand, which brings the knife closer to your hand than is very comfortable for most people. I mean, if, like I said, if you're Curtis or Wolfgang and you've done that for 35 years or whatever it is, you know, you know, and plus you have to realize they do that before they use the knife every single time. Exactly. You have to, you have to hone every single day to keep that edge up. Right. With this, you have to sharpen that. You're not going to have to sharpen that same knife probably for another couple of weeks. Well, that's the difference it between quality sharp. of blades is how yeah. long you keep that edge. And so many blades are only meant for just straight, regular, everyday knives. Well, the Any Sharp takes it to a whole new level. Watch this, you guys. So many knife sharpeners will tell you you can't use a serrated blade. Well, I'll tell you what, you can look up and down on our Any Sharp knife sharpener. You're not going to see that kind of warning. Watch this, you guys. Even yeah. the unsharpenable it serrated will. knife. Mm -hmm. Look at the filings come off, you guys. Yeah. The rocks and the automated ones can't handle this because everything spins too fast and beyond your control. Yeah. All you're gonna do, give it one, two, three, four, five swipes, mm -hmm. a wipe with a clean knife, and guys, that really is it. So no matter whether you're doing vegetables like this, yeah, or if you want your brand new Bread. blade to give you the thinnest bread slices you've ever had, now you've got a way for a fraction of the price of professional knife sharpeners yeah. out there to sharpen every single and knife you have, including yeah. your bread knife. And I will tell you, when Mark sharpens his regular straight edge knives, he can cut the bread that thin too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. it, it is. When they're that, when it's that sharp, you do not have to put the pressure right. on the knife itself. You allow the, the edge, excuse me, the edge, <laughs> to do the cutting, and that's exactly. the difference. And, and that is why, you know, uh, knives in the kitchen are, are just like if you're a mechanic and you have a tool chest, it's the same thing. These have to be in good shape. The only time I've ever cut myself was when I used a knife that wasn't sharp and I tried to push it through the food exactly. and your finger gets caught and you cut yourself. Uh, when I ran restaurants, I would, the number one thing we would have, the, we'd have the guy come in the sharpening truck. Yep. Right, because we had totally. so many knives and because I didn't trust a lot of the people to sharpen their own knives exactly. there. And it was an insurance thing. Uh, <laughs> that I I would have this guy come in and he'd come in every week to sharpen the knives because you can't have a chef go down with stitches in his hand. Can't That's work it. Can't for a work. month. Guys, look so, at this. So you need to have the right tool. And even a big knife like this. Even your chopped cleaver, guys, yeah, doesn't matter the that. size. And by the way, this will work on any single stainless steel knife. So look at this. Even carbon steel, the hardest thing to sharpen, tungsten yeah, yeah, carbide yeah. is harder. Watch this, you guys. Hunting knives don't have to be sharpened quite as often because they are made of carbon steel and they'll right. hold their edge longer, but they will dull. And like every other knife, whether it's five bucks or 500, it's gonna work the exact same right out of the box. So make sure, whether it's your hunting knife, your kitchen knife, your serrated knife, so your Santoku beautiful. knife, the edge is perfect yeah. every time, guys. Look at that. Ma Mark, fantastic job. All right, it's $18, everybody. It's a great deal for this. And by the way, if you did buy the uh, the chopped um, um, knife, the big uh, right. chopper cleaver, get the sharpener. I'm telling Absolutely. you, and, and stop struggling with the old school sharpening stick. It's a it's a waste. Of, listen, 20 years in the restaurant business, I never use sharpening sticks. I use the carbide edge. They've, they've come a long way. Too. Oh, it's boy. a way to do it. All right, hey, I'm, I have not even seen this before. <laughs> it's called the scrub knife cleaner. I'm going to let Mark go to town. So we got two minutes, Mark. What do we do with this guy? Guys, listen. Everybody's got what? knives. That's Everybody's so got a sink. Everybody is nervous about having to clean their knives because what do we do? We take a cloth. We give it one of these. Well, guys, look where my finger is on that blade. All right. Yeah. We go ahead and we have the kids do dishes. We're never going to let them do this. And there's never been a good solution for knife cleaning in our kitchen. Well, there's finally one, guys. Have a look at this. The holder itself is gonna suction cup onto the side of your sink, just like you see it there. That means you've always got a holder for it, and this is always gonna protect your hand from the blade. Very Watch what nice. happens. There's a spot on the back for your fingers to go in, just like this, and the blade of the knife touches the uncuttable silicone. As soon as you close that around there, guys, now <laughs> you don't have to worry about accidents, anything going wrong. It's perfect every single time. That's, That's one beautiful. of the smartest things I've ever seen. You know who appreciates that? Foodie guys like uh, us. <laughs> we appreciate because it very I will much. tell you, I will tell you, it's like, it's it's so funny. It's like, if, you know, I've skied, I've skied like so many years and people are like, do you ever fall when you ski anymore? I'm like, no, I've done it so long. I, right. I never do. But when I do something stupid on skis when I'm not thinking, <laughs> that's when I wind that's up falling. Fall. It's like when, 
like I know knives and cutlery because of the kitchen uh, restaurant business. Well, do, you know what I caught myself when I'm trying to clean the when things? When you're trying to clean the things, oh exactly, guys. Look at this. The blade is nowhere near my hands. I have a scrub brush on both the top and the bottom. Knives are an investment. Knives are one of those things that you're supposed to have in your kitchen for years. Good knives are one of those things you're supposed to have in your life for a lifetime. Yeah. So make sure you're cleaning them properly. Every time that you just give it a quick little rinse or a quick little scrub, you leave food particles in the handle. They can be left in the divots. Yeah. Make sure that you've got something handy to safely clean those knives. And when you're all done, these will pop off Go right in the dishwasher if you like. You pop them right back on like that, and it just sits right there for as long as you need it. I All love right. having is, access to this. This is a $20 bill if you want to get that. What a nice little, a nice little, I said a nice little system. What a nice little system we have of cutlery, ways to sharpen Absolutely. them and ways to clean them. By the way, Mark, tell me that they come in three colors. So you have them in green, you have them in yellow, and you have them in blue. Exactly. Uh, and you can order those right now. Go to hsn.com and grab those as well. Nice job, Marcus. As usual, that knife sharpener thing, freaking awesome. I gotta get, I gotta <laughs> get a couple of those. By easy, the way, easy. I don't think I ever told you the knife sharpeners come in red and white. Uh, they come in black and blue and yellow. Exactly. Uh, but you can figure that out when when you either call or when you go to dot com. They'll, they'll ask you what you want. Get more than one. Great stocking stuffers to get for next year too. So remember that. Think ahead. All right, my friend. Thank you so much for being here, Mark. Now stay thank tuned. Uh, we've got more stuff coming up for you. But I wanted you to take a quick check of the hot item. It's the. Is that really a Roomba under three hundred bucks? What? And look at all the customer picks on that bad boy. I own a Roomba. Jared, do you have a Roomba? You gotta get a Roomba, dude. Look at that. It's so much fun, especially if you got pets. They just kind of stare at it and run away. It's great. Anyway, it'll clean your entire house. I only have 600 available if you want to grab it at that price. Um, you hit a button. This, honestly, this is what I do. I hit the button. Mine's already on the dock, and I hit the button. It comes off the dock, cleans the whole house, and then it goes back to the dock and recharges itself. When I come home, it takes about two hours to clean my house. When I come home, I pull the little dirt tray out, it's like there's a half a cat in there every time, and I don't even own a cat. There's so much dirt and dust that comes off your hardwood floors and off your carpeting. It is amazing, and it'll get around those hard to reach areas because it's got these little whisker feet that kind of pull dirt towards it. Thing is amazing, and, and honestly, it's a lot of fun, and, and it, you know, you just hit the button and it cleans by itself. So it's a piece of cake, you're gonna love that. Hey, thanks so much for shopping with me today. Love doing these kitchen shows, we'll have more to come. Uh, now it's the lovely Leslie Machado. She's got more for you as we continue.